Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope I'm in the right place today. My Facebook app is not opening. Hopefully, you guys have had a good week. It's been a busy one here, as it always is. Um, let's see. I'm like, where am I? Where am I? Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm in the right place. Oh, hello, hello. Today we are doing three projects with the cutest cows. It's um, it's probably one of the uh, most popular sets in the spring catalog. I have told you guys this before. When I was at, on stage last month, um, the majority of swaps that I got, well, not the majority, the largest majority of the swaps that I got was the cutest cows. I'm not I'm not forming the words correctly today. What's wrong with me? I have more cutest cow swaps than anything else. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I'll show you at the end some of the swaps that I have. Um, one of the projects today that we're going to make actually was not a swap, but a gift that I got uh, while we were at on stage, um, created by one of my team members. Um, it's so cute. I asked her, please, can I use this in Facebook Friday? And she said yes. So I can't wait to show it to you. Um, I'm sure many of you already have the cutest cows. It is a punch and a stamp bundle. Um, right now it's bundle price in the new catalog. It won't be, you'll have to buy them individually. So if you buy them before the end of April, you save 10% on that bundle price, which we like. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Uh, today's projects are a little bit, um, not long, but they're not super fast. So I wanna go ahead and get started. Hopefully my lens is clean. I usually try to clean my lens before I start, and I didn't do that today. Boy, look at this mess up here, right? Okay, let's talk about this catalog right here. Uh, these two catalogs, annual and spring. Uh, the end of this month, the end of April 2024, is the end of both of these catalogs. Um, so the last chance lists have come out. And uh, that means everything is everything that are in these two catalogs that are retiring are while supplies last. I have shared the PDFs for the Last Chance products multiple times. Um, if you ha haven't looked at it, um, if you scroll down on Facebook, it's within the description of the last Facebook Friday. You'll see the links. But the thing now is that the discount prices have taken effect. And I shared with you on Tuesday some of my favorite things that are on sale. Um, some of them are 50%, 40%, 60%. So you really want to kind of dive in and look at those bargains because there are some really good bargains. One thing I didn't share that I realized later is the um, Glorious Gingham Designer Series paper it is on sale. And I don't know where that is on this on the sheet, but... I love the Glorious Gingham. I actually ordered two more packs. So um, take a look at it. I will tell you also, right before I went live, I checked the um, discontinued list, which means products that have sold out, and it has grown quite a bit. There is quite a bit on these lists that have already sold out. Now, that doesn't mean there's nothing left because there is a lot left. Um, so make sure you check it out. You know what? Let's look real quick. Let's see if I can pull this up and just show you, um, the easiest way to find it on the Stampin' Up! website. Well, well that's not what you need to see, although you probably do want to see that catalog. Okay, hold on. Boop, boop. Let's see where it is. Um, no, I don't want to sign in. Let's just go to the home page. Hopefully you guys can see. I know that ring light's super bright. Okay, how about that? So if you click on those three little lines right there, um, if you uh, click, hold on, I have to reorient myself because I do this on my computer usually. Okay, so then you do specials and then you do last chance products. That's going to bring up everything that's still available on the last chance list. And what I like to do is I like to sort it from lowest to high, lowest price to high, and then I can really see what's been marked down. Um, I noticed these cork rounds that I love are on low inventory, so they're almost sold out. Festive pearls marked down to $4.90. So this might be the easiest way to see what is on the last chance list. Another thing you can do is if you scroll down to the bottom, well, it's not here. Okay, maybe it's at the top. I always do it on my computer, so it's different. Okay, view. 60. That way you get more items on a page and you can keep scrolling further and further. 
Just a little tip. But anyway, all of that now is while supplies last. Um, you know, we've got about, what is today? We've got about a two and a half weeks, a little bit more than two and a half weeks to take advantage. And then all of those things are gone. So make sure you grab them. Look, I was looking all over the place for my catalog. And look, it's right here. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Ugh. Anyhow, anyhow, that is it. I know you guys know that that is what's happening right now. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about the new in colors. Um, I announced or I opened up signups for my new in color club um, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Day before yesterday. And um, I was going to go through my, I did find my old stack. We made this last year, if you guys remember. We put these together. Um, all the past colors that we don't have anymore. Next week, Facebook Friday is gonna feature, um, oh, what is that set? It's Kate on here, it's the set you've been asking me for, Kate. Um, the one that has all the little, why can I not remember it, where you peel the thing? Um, come on, somebody's gonna say it. You know, it has a little secret, like doors that you open. I'm getting no comments. Um, that's what we're going to do next week, and we're going to use all the new in colors. So next week, we'll spend some time plugging them in, comparing them to some of the old colors. And I even got on eBay today and found a lady who was selling um, three sheets each of retired card stock, and I ordered some of the ones that I don't have because <laughs> that's how OCD I am, and I want my I want my collection to be complete. So anyway, um, next week we we'll, we will do that. Hooray for surprises! Thank you, Angel. I kept wanting to say filled with surprises and I knew that wasn't right. Hooray for surprises. That's what we're doing next week. Yay, Kate, there you are. Um, Kate asked me at on stage, please use uh, hooray for surprises on Facebook Friday. And so Kate, I made it a priority for you. Anyhow, um, you, can, uh, you can sign up for In Color Club. I put a kit together just to kind of show you what is in here. When you sign up for in color club you're basically collecting all of the in color products and i've priced it out i did it differently this time um, instead of a whole pack of cardstock you're going to get 10 card bases and then uh four quarter sheets i had um was it nicole somebody asked me earlier about that so my the idea of this is that you have card bases and then you have just some cardstock like to do die cutting or whatever else or strips or whatever so you'll have that you'll get 10 envelopes each month you'll get the glimmer paper um, you're going to get a card kit to make four cards using some of your new product you'll get um well, there's the envelopes um you'll get the dsp you're going to get the sketches that the card sketches that we do and the color coach for your color you're gonna get two Stampin' Blends, a bolt of ribbon, the Stampin' Write marker, the ink pad, and each month you're gonna get a, a, an embellishment, an added embellishment. That's when I order all your stuff, I use the rewards collected on those orders to, I divide it between everybody and order everybody an embellishment. So um, it'll be different each month what you get, and it'll be a surprise. So that is, basically what in color club looks like um it will come with a video and a pdf um tutorial using the using the uh products and the card kit that i sent i want to use these uh card these um folio whatever you call them these plat but look it's so tight i'm gonna have to see if i can find a, a larger one because i don't want your your stuff to be all bent when you get it. But anyway, I'm on the search for that. So it'll come like that, and then you'll have all your stuff. Um, so here's the thing. If you signed up yesterday, you're charged for the first club kit, which is May. Now, I don't ship them until the end of May. So if you signed up, potentially you'll be charged twice before you get your first kit. So let's say uh, yesterday was the 11th. You'll be charged on April 11th for the May kit, May 11th for the June kit, June 11th for the July kit, July 11th for the August kit, and then August 11th for the September kit. 
Does that make sense? Because I know sometimes when you sign up for Club Create, that happens because of the overlap and the time that takes me to prep those kits. But I just want you guys to know that I always follow through and you will always get what you pay for. Um, so if that happens, just know that you're just getting ahead of the game. <laughs> but you will get all five in colors um, as a kit and it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. No, Bubble Bath is not retiring. Did I say no? Did you guys see Bubble Bath in that stack? That's all the colors, not just retired colors. All the colors. I mean, what I'm trying to do with that stack is so that when we get new in colors, I can compare them to old colors that we have had or current colors that we do have. So, I, so like today, like next week, I'm gonna stick in all the new in colors from now, and then five years from now, I'll still have them in there to compare them to those in colors. Does that make sense? So some retired, some current. Just all the colors is what I'm I'm trying to get with my giant cardstock stack. <laughs> okay, so in color club uh, is I'm trying to remember the price. Sixty seven dollars a month. That includes priority shipping, and you also get the all star tutorial PDF for free each month, um, which is t uh, twelve video tutorials. Um, on top of the ones that you'll get for the projects in your in color kit. Um, I send this to everybody who spends $50 with me or more each month. These are 12 video tutorials designed by 12 different demonstrators. Um, they're videos, they have measurements and supply lists. And here's my project this month. This month is Nature Sweetness. Um, you also get this if you just shop in my at stampinup.com. I send this to you for free as well. Um, I feel like I butchered all of that. I never explained things very well. So if you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Just go back one blog post and you'll see what I'm talking about. I think it makes a little more sense typed up there on my blog. Okay, so that is that. Um, the other club that I have is um, Club Create. Gosh, I almost couldn't even remember what it's called. Club Create. So Club Create for... What month are we in? April. You guys are going to ship Monday. I got, them, I got them done super early this month. Um, Club Create for May. Gosh, man, I like feel like we're like, I don't know. I'm working so far ahead, I can't even remember what month we're in. Club Create for May features Country Flowers, which is a new bundle from the new upcoming annual catalog. Uh, Club Create looks like this when it comes. It's five projects. You get about $25 in product each month. It's $45 a month. That includes the shipping, includes a PDF and a video tutorial for all five projects, plus the kit for the five projects. And in May, you're gonna make four cards and a little card keeper box that's just super cute. I had so much fun with this. Um, this is like farmhouse type stuff and that's right up my alley, I love it. So I think you guys are gonna like it too. Um, anyway, the details on this, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. If you click that, there's a subscription um, info there for you. Um, the PDFs for these are always available in my PDF store as well. If you don't want to actually subscribe to the club, you can always just buy the individual PDFs. And a PDF, remember, is just email. It's, there's no kit involved in a PDF-only option. I know, sometimes it can be confusing. Um... And I, those are in my PDF store and it's supposed to automatically email it to you as soon as you pay. Sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it bounces and sometimes it ends up in spam. So if you ever buy a PDF from me and you don't get it, please email me and say, please resend because like I said earlier, I'm never gonna just not give you what you paid for. <laughs> Sometimes it gets lost, I promise, and I will always resend it to you. Okay, last but not least, this is my class to go this month, the Kidding Around class. Um, we have, what's today, the 12th, the 19th. We have one more week. Next Friday is the deadline for this class. Five cards, you're going to get a full 12 by 12 pack of DSP, pack of gems, pack of linen thread, um, and the six card projects and a PDF. Um, you need the bundle. Okay, you need the bundle to make these cards. I don't send stamped images. Some of them do use just the kids from the paper, but some of them, they all use the, the sentiments and some of these other things too. So you can get the kit um, with the bundle or without the bundle, um, PDF only. And then there's a discounted class kit for my team. This is actually a fundraiser 
for the Alzheimer's Association. Um, if you don't know, my dad has Alzheimer's, so every year I'm trying to do a fundraiser for the, the Alzheimer's Association for research. Hopefully find a cure for that someday. And everything, every uh, dollar that I make off this class will be donated right to the Alzheimer's Association, okay? All right, the details and the links for all of that are on here. I feel like I didn't add the, no, I didn't add the End Color Club links on today's PDF, but it is at the bottom of today's blog post. So pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find all the things. Thanks, Lorraine. Um, yes, the birdhouse stamp set, Angel, we're gonna use for the first In Color Club projects. I love that birdhouse too, very much. Okay, that's it. That's all the announcements I have. Let's, oh, you know what? I do still have some paper pumpkins if anybody needs a paper pumpkin. And um, I didn't tell you that we have two new kits. I think this is one of them, which I showed you from um, on stage with these little honeycombs. They're so cute. So if you like kits, check out our kit section of our website. I think it's like $14. It's really inexpensive and anybody can make those. They're very easy. Oh, and I forgot I was going to show you guys this. Um, this came from Marsha this week and I couldn't believe it when I when I opened it up. Marsha, this is incredible. This These are the Easter lilies. Look at that. This is like a work of art and it arrived in like perfect condition. You know, sometimes when you mail things, you never know. But this is like one of those, this looks like one of those um, cards that you buy at the store that's like 20 bucks, $25, you know, the ones that fold open and the flowers pop out. It is stunning. I have no idea. Don't ask me how she made it. I don't know. It's beautiful. I don't have directions on it, but I just had to show you guys. This is going to have a permanent home in my studio because I just, I'm like in awe. So Marsha, thank you so much. Always so sweet of you to send me things like that. All righty, are you guys ready for some cow projects? Oh wait, I have to tell you, prize winner, prize, prize, prizes from last week. I went to YouTube this time and Tina Wilkin, I feel like I have your mailing address, but then I looked and I it didn't pop up. So Tina, please email me. Thank you for sharing my video. She's uh, winning the Wild Ferns stamp set and dies, the bundle. And I'm going to send you that for free. Um, this week's prize is the Encircled in Nature. And I feel like I already gave this away once. I feel like just a couple weeks ago. This is an online exclusive. If you'd like to win the bundle, just share the video either on Facebook or YouTube. And I will pick a random winner next week during Facebook Friday when we do hooray for surprises. I'm gonna keep saying it so I can remember. All right, so there we go, that's that. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? If you like today's projects, and I know many of you have the cows, so you're gonna want today's projects. I will send them to you for free as a little kit like this, um, as a thank you for an order over $35. You can order anything you want. If you wanna order retiring, products, maybe some in-color cardstock, um, maybe that glorious gingham designer series paper, whatever you want. As long as your order is over $35 and you use the host code for this week, I will send you the kit. This is what it looks like. You need the stamps and the punch. I don't do any stamping, okay? But you will get a little thank you tag from me that looks like that. And then I mail them, uh, the deadline for that is Monday at midnight, and I mail them on Wednesday. Cut them on Tuesday, mail them on Wednesday, all right? Whew, okay. I think we are ready, you guys. I'm gonna put this right here. And you know what? I have a drink all the way across the room. Hold on, I'm gonna grab it. After I do all that talking, I need a drink. All right, project number one is probably, well, I'm gonna say it again. Every I say it every time. This one's my favorite. No, this one's my favorite, but I do love this one. For inspiration this week, I went to Etsy and I typed in cute cows and all kinds of um, like clip art and SVG files came up and they were a lot of cows with sunflowers. And I was like, okay, 
This, this stamp set has sunflowers in it, so let's do something sunflower related. So hopefully you guys can see the background. We're gonna create this little um, sunflower background. Now I don't have the sunflower stamps anymore that we used to have, so we're gonna use the cheerful daisies and we're gonna turn it into a sunflower, all right? So let's start with a piece of, I need some grid paper. A piece of Daffodil Delight that is three and three fourths by five. And I've got my very messy <laughs> embossing kit here. I'm gonna take my embossing buddy and really like hopefully remove all the static cling. And then I'm gonna take my Versamark. And yes, I think Susan that is, I think it's from Tammy for sure. That's what she said up there. I'm gonna take a Versamark and stamp the daisy all over. Now you're not gonna see it when I stamp it, okay? Cause it's a clear ink, but I promise you it's there. And I'm just kind of doing around the edges cause we're gonna cover up the middle part. Let's see, maybe I could get one more to fit in the middle. Let's see, let's put on the embossing powder. Ah, I just sprinkled it all over my ink pad. That ink pad is on its last leg anyway. It's pretty messy. All right, so now you guys can see my sunflowers and I think we do have room, maybe for one in the middle. Boy, I'm making a huge mess. We'll do one there and one there. All right, so white embossing powder and we'll clean that mess up later. Let's move all of this over here and we're gonna get the heat tool. Now, it's gonna take me a few seconds to do this. So while I do this, you guys tell me about your eclipse viewing. Did you see the eclipse where you live? We were very excited here. We were in the path of totality. And my middle daughter is, she wants to be an astrophysicist someday. So this is right up her alley. And she was um, assigned the task of setting up telescopes at the high school. She's very excited. And then it was super, super cloudy, like low, thick clouds. And so we really didn't get to see it. The, uh, it got dark for about three minutes, which was really weird. Um, but, you know, we didn't really get to see it. And we kind of like saw little blips in between the clouds clearing, but not like we wanted to. And she was so excited when she left that day. And then when she came home, she said, it was lame. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, but at least, you know, you have another chance in 20 years. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Not much there in the Midwest. Eclipse was awesome. I, I, you know, I didn't really, I wasn't making a big deal out of it until afterwards I thought, man, this was kind of a big deal. Maybe I should have made an effort to go because they said it here, if you had driven up into the hill country, the clouds were gonna be better, but oh well. All right, I colored in my um, sunflowers with pecan pie in the middle. And then I'm just gonna take my basic black stamp and write marker and just add in some little dots for the seeds. Okay, just boop, boop, boop all over the place like that. So let me hold it up so you guys can see, hopefully. I probably would put more dots if I wasn't making a video. Now let's get the card base. We're gonna get to the cows in a minute, I promise. <laughs> this is a cow project. Okay, I've made a huge mess with my embossy powder. Hold on. Let's get all of that. I can't stand the way that feels. Ugh. All right, bring back the grid paper. Now we're gonna use the center of that daisy stamp, which I guess I probably could have just stamped the center of those daisies instead of coloring them. I don't know why I didn't, but you know, I like to use my blends. I'm just gonna use the center of the uh, daisy 
to put some polka dots around the edge. I asked my husband, should we save the glasses? <laughs> he was like, no, because I saved our glasses from, when was it, 2016 or 2017, the last partial eclipse that we had? I saved them, I was so proud of myself. But I don't think I can save them for another 20 years. 86% covered, beautiful golden hue to the light. Oh yeah, Lisa, in the fall we had an annular eclipse here, and that's kind of what it was like here too. Um, just the light is very strange. Okay, we're gonna take vanilla. Look at that, okay, now that is a problem. Sometimes when you get ribbon, they've had to piece, you know, cause the ribbon eventually runs out and so they've sewn it or glued it together. And so you get one of those ends in your, in your bolt. Let's see if I can cover that up. Where is it? We're gonna put that right like at the knot. No, nope, I'm pulling it the wrong way. This is the, what did I say? Very vanilla and black large check ribbon. And we're gonna tie that knot right there, like that. I wasted some ribbon this time. I don't like doing that, man. I cut off too much. Ah. And then cut it at an angle, okay? One, two, three, four dimensionals. One, two. I need my bowl. I start throwing these things around and then they're everywhere. Trying to be nice and neat. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we have our card base. It's so cute all by itself. It's cute, but we're gonna add the cow and it's gonna be even cuter. All right, on, nope, that's for the inside. We're gonna use that in a minute. In this set, you have several choices for cows. Where did I put it? Right here. You have several choices. The punch will only punch out this one right here, right? Yeah, that one and these two heads. If you're gonna do these two, you're gonna have to do some fussy cutting. All right, so decide which, which cow you wanna use. We're gonna do the laying down cow. That's what I'm calling him, the laying down cow. I'm gonna put that over here and then I will take the cute little face Put that over here. I've also brought in Hey Chuck, which I just saw has gone bye-bye. It's sold out. Hopefully you've already got it. I'm gonna use that fence right there. And we're gonna cut that. We're gonna stamp that right there, okay? All right, Stampin' Blends. For this guy, I'm gonna use basic black. And basic black salmon blends are very, very dark. So I always use the lighter one. I just feel like the darker one is so dark, you, you lose some of the detail in your image. If like for the tail, for instance, you won't be able to see those little black lines separating the sections of the tail. So I, I don't know, the lighter, basic black is a little bit lighter. And I think it just, I don't know, I prefer to use it over the dark. All right, let's do petal pink for the nose. He's cute. Do any of you have cows? I know some of you are out in the, you know, country. You have property, you have farms. Um, I am going to punch just his head. That sounds funny. I'm gonna punch his head, and then I'm gonna take my scissors, and we're gonna cut that out. And I'm gonna use my paper snips, and we're gonna fussy cut. Now, for all of the newbies, I'm gonna give you my, my uh, fussy cutting tips. Stay on the outside of the black line, leave a little white border, that way you will only see the black line of the image and not your crooked cutting, if you're like me. And stay in the center of your blade. Don't go down to the end, just stay in the center and use your opposite hand to turn while you cut, all right? Okay, so there's our cow. What about the fence? 
I'm gonna use crumb cake and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my crumb cake and I'm gonna kind of do like an angled line like this. I'm starting with a dark this time. Usually I start with a light, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be a rebel and start with a dark. Now I do have um, recordings of these on um, YouTube. So if you're really looking for some coloring instruction, I would send you over there because I can zoom in and take my time and explain a little bit more over there about coloring each time. All right, squeak, squeak, squeak. Can you guys hear that? I feel like we need a little bit more dark. There we go, a little bit in there like that. The dark gives you some shadow. There we go. Okay, now take the die and that one right there, cut it out. I did that ahead of time. Now for this, this is um, the largest nested essential rectangle basic white we're going to stamp our sunflowers stick them with our sunflower theme and this time i'm just going to use daffodil delight and these petals are so small you guys that really it's just kind of a little like dot that you're putting in just a little do 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 you have to make that noise too do 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 each time just dot 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 and you know if you don't want to do sunflowers turn these into whatever you want i've got all new flowers at my house we had landscapers come out and install some beds in our new yard now i'm going to use pumpkin pie so hopefully i can keep them alive gotta get them established before the hellacious summer heat that we have down here in South Texas sets in and uh, see if they will actually, I don't know. I'm just a uh, black thumb guys, black thumb. I'm not, I'm not good with plants. I don't know why. I think maybe I'm just lazy and I don't spend enough time on them with them. And it's hot here. We talked about this last week. It's hard to grow a lot of things here because it just gets so hot. Here in South Texas, if the if it says full sun, that means shade, <laughs> partial shade. You don't want full sun down here. It's too, too hot. Amy, you have a black thumb too. I, you know, my mom is great at gardening. She's very good at it and I just, bleh, just meh. Karen, yeah, mm-hmm, I know. All right, I'm gonna put the fence over kind of to the left side because his head is gonna pop up over the fence anyway and we'd be covering it up. And I'm gonna put his little body right there and then to make his head pop up even higher, I'm gonna do a stack of two dimensionals. All right, like that. So cute. Tony, glad to see you. South Texas is harsh, very, very harsh. It's, and it, it, it lasts forever. That's the other problem. South Texas heat doesn't just come and go. It doesn't cool off at night. All right, so there's the front of your card. Now I was like, you know, like I need to put a sentiment. I played around, I couldn't come up with a sentiment, a way to fit it in. So I was like, you know what? We're just put it on the inside. Why am I overthinking this? So on a piece of basic white, I have stamped the flowers, colored them exactly the same, and just stamped the sentiment right there in Pond Pie. And then you guys know, you know me, you don't have to write so much. Just, I think maybe two sentences, because you don't have that much space. Ta-da! All right, isn't he cute? He's so cute. Looks like I went a little bit lower on this one. So, so cute. And you know, this could be, what is the sentiment that I stamped? It says the little things you do make such a big difference. So you could use that. You could use, you could, I mean, you could make it a happy birthday card. Well, I don't know, maybe a baby card. 
Some people do cow themes in their nursery, right? The possibilities, y'all, are endless. Okay. I'm glad you like it. So cute. You know what? When I, at this point in a catalog's life, when it's time to do a Facebook Live, I will, I will tell you guys, I get, it's hard because I'm trying to come up with something original for you. You know, and there's been so many things done with this set that it was, it was hard to come up with something original. But I like it. I am pretty happy with it. All right. Now, next. I'm going to show you this one because that one I put the wrong stamp on. I was at Walgreens and I found these. Well, let me show you. I have one right here. Hershey's Milkalicious. Have you guys seen this? I have linked them on Amazon as well. Um, they come in, the Hershey Kisses come in this flavor too. I'd never seen that. Milkalicious, milk chocolate with creamy chocolate milk filling. And you know what? I'm just going to open it and I'm going to show you because it's little cow. They're little cows. Look, how cute are they? Can you see them? And now I've touched it. So you know what that means. I have to eat it. Yum. I will eat it. All right, so it's a chocolate slider and it slides out just like that. All right, and so we're gonna take this one because I'm gonna need it. Okay, so let's make the box first. You're gonna need, um, I don't, I've seen them, so I got it at Walgreens. I was gonna say, I haven't seen them anywhere else. Has anybody else seen these bars? And they're a different, they're a different size than like say your Hershey bar. Okay, where's my, hold on. Where is my Simply Sport? It's over here. It's uh, shorter and fatter than a Hershey bar. Like it's wider this way, but more narrow that way. Okay, you are gonna need three and three fourths by 11 piece of pecan pie. We're gonna score the long side at five and a fourth and five and three fourths. So it's just gonna be half an inch wide. And then the short side, we're gonna score at half an inch and three and a fourth. This is this box is super easy. And funny enough, we're gonna make almost the exact same kind of box for the next project, even though it looks, it's totally different. This, this uh, style of box is what we'll make with the next one. All right, snip, gosh, I got, I mean, I got embossing powder everywhere, everywhere. All right, snip these lines in the middle, and I'm gonna cut the corners off. Okay. Snip, snip. They are linked on today's post if you want to find them on Amazon. If you wanna buy them, you can go find them over there. Um, I don't know. Swifter time, Nancy, that's a great idea. I was thinking about, um, getting my chamois. Um, Lisa says the Walmart registers have them. Okay, so you know, Walmart registers is where they fi you find the new candy. Like, remember when I was searching for the blueberry Kit Kats years ago? Walmart register, first place I found them. Okay, I'm gonna fold those tabs up into the sides like that. And then I'm gonna grab my tear and tape. It's gonna be my afternoon snack. That little cow, he was so cute. I should have bought an extra one so I could eat it. So now I'm gonna have a box that has no candy in it. All right, I hope I didn't go over the score line here. Do you guys have big plans for this weekend? We do not. We need to trim some trees. I think that may be our big plans this weekend. Okay, fold in and give it a hug. You're just hugging the, the other side. You're just wrapping it around the side like that. All right, so there, that's what your box looks like, right? Simple, simple, simple. Now I am using that glorious Gingham Designer Series paper, and we're gonna put it right here. Now, you're gonna need a small circle. We do not have a half inch circle punch anymore. There is one on Amazon. I linked it for you today if you need it. But I'm gonna use, you could use a three quarter inch, you could use something smaller, whatever you want. 
So punch that and then line it up in the back and punch that like that. Now we're gonna use this center stripe ribbon. And, um, oh yeah, wait, you gotta thread it through like this. And then just take that Milkalicious bar and just poke it down in there. Okay, so see how it's looped underneath? And that way, when you pull the ribbon out, it pulls the candy out. All right, I'm gonna tie a bow. This ribbon is an online exclusive. You won't find it in the catalog. It is online only. It's a good ribbon, I like it. You know what ribbons I am loving right now are new in-color ribbons. Uh, we're gonna use them next week. Make sure you come back next week. We're gonna use all the new in-color stuff next week. They tie beautifully. Oh, that's crooked. Well, I'm not gonna retie it. We're just gonna leave it. Okay, now time for our cow. Where's my sample? Right here. Um, this time we are gonna use the punch. And I showed you this, um, what were we making? What did we make last week? Plants, but then what did we make the week before? We did pets. I don't know, we did this recently where you punch, okay? This is just scrap paper. And then get your image or your, um, stamps and lay them down in the negative space like this and then get your block and you just pick them up and now when you stamp this on your basic white paper it's going to be exactly where you need it to be for your punch okay so there we've got our little cow um we're also going to use that little milk carton super cute Little milk can, not carton, milk can. We're gonna make it rusty. You guys remember how we made things rusty last week? We're gonna do that again this week. Okay, now, the submarine life. Angel, thank you, thank you. Um, I could not remember for the life of me. I knew it was recently. Was that before on stage or after on stage? I don't know, everything's just blending together. All right, I'm gonna do light pumpkin pie this time on this guy. He's gonna take me a little bit longer to color. My youngest, I told you guys we had a basketball tournament last weekend. She did pretty good. But she, have you guys, those of you that have teenagers, these sports teenagers, my other two played tennis, but they were just like, whatever. They weren't totally into it. She's so obsessed that I feel like she's going to like she's practicing, yesterday they, she had three different practices she went to. She's going to one tonight. How do you keep that your teenagers from overdoing it with the sports? And she's saying, you know, she's gotta work hard to get that varsity spot. And, and I'm like, you also need to rest, honey. She just is loving basketball so much that she's really pushing herself hard. Any advice on that, mamas out there? I'm adding in some um, dark pecan pie. I'm gonna go around the spots too, just to kind of make them pop off a little bit. Whoops, oh man. All right, we're gonna blend that out. Now, if you don't wanna do the shading, just leave it, it's fine. I just, I saw a sample online where she did a lot of shading and I was like, wow, that looks really good. Let me try that. All right, so there we go. Now the head, what are we gonna do up here? Sports mamas, it's a, it's a you know, she's my third and uh, my other two, we just, I don't know, we just weren't so fully like hardcore about it. And I'm, I'm tired, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to go to all the practices. I don't want to get up at five o'clock, take her to practice, but I will. She'll have a driver's license next year. So I'm almost, I'm almost off the hook. All right, a little bit more shading like that. Now, bring over. The more sports, the better for your kids. It kept them busy and out of trouble. Well, Jean, I mean that, you're right. You're absolutely right. But I worry that she's going to hurt herself, too. She is just 
you know, having a practice before school, two-hour practice, then having a another two-hour practice after school, getting home at um, 6.30 and then turning around in, at 7 and leaving for club practice. That's a lot, you know, like your body needs rest too. She's not eating good because she's just like on the run. Well, I know, I, and I do love it. I will say that, Brandy, I do love basketball. But I just, I don't know, like I just feel like poor thing's going to push herself. She's pushing herself too hard, you know? I don't know. A mother's job is the most difficult. Look at that. I forgot his other ear. All right. Isn't he cute? He's a lot more coloring involved than the other one, but he's definitely a cutie. All right, let's punch that out. Let's see if my lining up. Learn how to balance everything, which helps. Well, again, Jean with a Jean with a solid advice. You're right. You are right. I guess when you're young, you don't need as much rest and sleep. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's what it is. You can enjoy it while she can, right? Okay, let me show you what I'm going to do to this milk carton. This I keep calling milk carton. Milk can. I'm going to take my Smoky Slate Light, and I'm just going to go around the outside. We've done this before. You're going to just go around the outside like that. I'm going to color in that line and the handles. But then I'm going to take my color lifter, and I'm going to pull that color to the middle. It's going to bleed out into the middle. That way it's a really kind of a light, a light um, colored can and it kind of is in the center. It's more white where the light would be. All right, then take your copper clay stamp and blend and flick on some copper clay, which is going to make it look nice and rusty. And then I'm gonna get my dark copper clay and just kind of like dot some more extra, some rust. I wish I could show you guys my new milk carton. Maybe I'll, I'll post a picture. I have, I keep calling it the wrong thing, milk can. I bought a milk can in um, Round Top a few weeks ago that is white and rusty. And it's very cute, very cute. Okay, this one, you got a fussy cut again, but again, it's easy. It's very small. You definitely want paper snips. If I tried to use those big scissors over there, I would not be able to do this, and I would be frustrated. So don't try to do it with big scissors. All right. There we go. Um, the, okay, now we gotta do this part too. I have cut out a everyday details rectangle and then I cut a piece of basic white that goes um, in the center. And we're gonna add some grass, just old olive and stamp and stamp again, stamp, stamp again, so that you have these different shades of your grass like that. Then get your small blending brush and you just want a little bit. So run it off on your grid paper, just so that it gives it a little bit of a, a light like that. All right, then the last thing we need to do, I'm gonna get a piece of scrap paper over here. We're gonna stamp the sentiment, sentiments in real red. Milk it for all it's worth, okay? We're just gonna cut it out like a skinny rectangle. Let me show you what um, I did. So here's the original that I showed you. It's your special day, milk it for all it's worth. Yesterday when I was recording for YouTube, I stamped, what's new with you, milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> so check your stamps before you stamp. Let's make sure that I've got the right one this time because that doesn't really make sense. What's new with you is cute, but if you stamp milk it for all it's worth, you're like, what? Huh? What did you say? That doesn't make sense. They look exactly the same. I just reached in and grabbed it. And it was wrong. It was very wrong. 
All right, trim, trim, snip, snip. Just a skinny little rectangle. And we're gonna use that stamp again in a minute. All right, let's line it all up with our dimensionals. Ooh, you have your great grandmas. Wow, I bet that's cool. I probably, uh, if I, when my grandmother died, I probably had zero interest in a rusty milk can. Now I would be like, yes, that's a nice fun thing to pass down. Mine is probably somebody's great grandma's rusty milk can. You know what, let's do, I like the two dimensionals on the cow head, cause it makes him really kind of pop out like that. And he's the winking guy, he's winking. The winking cow is very cute. Very, very cute. All right, we're gonna put this one on with a dimensional strip right there. Let's bring that over. We're gonna slide that little milk can in there. Let me get, let me, you know what, let's try this. I think this might be best. I've been really using these foam adhesive strips a lot. And then it's a little bit too long. All right, peel that backing off. And let's put it right behind him like that. Cute. He's very cute. I'm gonna miss this glorious gingham paper. Maybe we'll have a new gingham paper in the fall. Fall catalog. Okay, there you go. It's your special day. This one I'm gonna have to redo. Let's take this one out. Let's just not look at that one. Let's look at this one. And it slides in there like that and it's so cute. What do you guys think? That's pretty easy, right? The box. Winking cow. <laughs> laughing cow. Well, yes, maybe winking cow is the cousin of the laughing cow. Maybe it's winking cow ice cream and not cheese or winking cow yogurt. <laughs> okay, there we go. Project number two. Now, last one. The last one's pretty easy. And the last one if you missed the beginning of uh, today's live, I have to give credit where credit is due. This project is not originally mine. It was given to me at on stage by one of my downline, one of my team members, Laura Roderick. She is a local uh, team member, lives here in San Antonio, and she gave me this, and I just loved it. I love the color combination, the early espresso and the balmy blue. And these things, if you have not seen these, these are milk magic straws. And basically what you do is you put it in your milk and you drink your milk through the straw. It has these like little flavor beads in there. They almost look like dipping Dots. And when you drink the milk, it changes the milk to the flavor of whatever straws you have. So these are chocolate. These are cookies and cream. Um, this variety pack that I got, this has strawberry, this is chocolate, ooh, cotton candy, and chocolate again. So, if you have not seen these, they're really cool. I have seen them at Target before. I don't know if they still have them, but I ordered them from Amazon. So I linked that for you as well. They sound fun too, right? Aren't they cute, Gail? They're so cute. Okay, so. This box, again, like I said, is made very similarly to the last box that we just made. So let me get my Simply Scored again. And this piece, let me flip my page. You know, just stay where you're supposed to stay. It just keeps moving. <laughs> um, this piece of Early Espresso is eight by three and a half, and we're gonna score the long side at three and three fourths and four and a fourth. Turn it, score it at half and three. Now, you guys, in case I forget to tell you, every week on the PDF that's free over on my blog, it has all these measurements. This one has several sets of measurements for all the different pieces, so make sure you go there and get it, okay? Nine times out of 10, it's right. <laughs> Every now and then, I make mistakes. 
I'm human. This week, I think I think they're all correct. All right, so same same exact deal that we did just a minute ago. We're gonna snip in the middle. Snip, snip. Um, my girls have never had these straws, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take them into the house and uh, see if they will try them. I mean, how fun. When my oldest daughter was little, the only kind of milk she would drink is strawberry milk. We always had to do strawberry milk. Okay, what are you doing? And so every time I see strawberry milk, I think of her cute little, cute little pigtails and strawberry milk. <sighs> you do miss it. Brandy, you're right. You do miss these stages when they're gone. You do miss them. Okay, I'm just using Stampin' Seal this time. I'm not using tear and tape. And you just wrap it around, hug, hug the other side, like that, and there is your box. All right, now, I'm, I'm crooked, so I'm gonna cut it. Um, now, for the back side, you're gonna need a piece of early espresso that measures, what did I write? Nine by two and a half, and then this piece of balmy blue that is um, five and a fourth by two and a fourth. Now what I found yesterday is that mine, I had a hard time sliding it in. So if you have that trouble, today's is just fine. Just take like a tiny sliver off that side and then it'll fit in there. But today it seems to not have that problem. Okay, so put that there. And then we're going to put some adhesive here like this, slide it in all the way down and press. Okay, now put your straws in like that. And the ribbon we are using, do I have enough here? Mm, I don't think so. The ribbon we're using is the Balmy Blue Center Stripe Ribbon. You know what the other thing um, I did to mine, I don't know if Laura did it to hers. I put a dimensional on the back um, to hold it in, otherwise it's gonna slide out. The dimensional will hold it in enough that it's not gonna fall out, but then it's also not so strong that the person's gonna have to tear everything apart to get it out. They'll just, it'll pop off. Okay, so tie your ribbon, you know, trying to decide should I do the paper first I can't remember what I did yesterday but I'm thinking we're gonna do the ribbon first all right for this ribbon because you want that center stripe to face up you have to really kind of manipulate your ribbon when you're tying your bow so that that center stripe is face up all right and then we will get scissors snip snip I loved how Laura used the colors in the actual packaging. I always try to do that too. I think it makes it even better. So she definitely did that. And I was thinking with the strawberry one, you could add in some pink as well. So this is a piece of Early Espresso DSP from the Neutrals pack. We're gonna put that balmy blue on a piece of balmy blue. And then we're gonna stamp that cow again. We're just gonna use the same cow this time. Like this. Uh oh, are we having wisdom teeth problems, Lisa? I had wisdom teeth problems when I had my wisdom teeth taken out. It was awful. Not fun. And you know, my oldest daughter did not have problems until it was a year later. Suddenly she had a I can't remember. She had a, a lump in her jaw or something and it was starting to hurt. I can't I cannot remember. We had to go back a year later. They had to open up that uh that wisdom tooth incision and clean it out a year later. Crazy, right? It's super crazy. Oh, I'm doing him black, but my sample has him brown. Oh well. That's okay. That's all right. And keep it simple on these if you want to keep your cow simple. Just color in the spots like that. It's a lot less coloring than what we did on the last one. And then we'll do, we'll 
we'll do that. Oh, you know what? Let's give them some cheeks. Yeah, Lisa, a year. And we had no idea what it was. She went to several doctors before they finally said, could this be related to her wisdom teeth? Like we went to her pediatrician who sent us to a ear, nose, and throat, ear, nose, and throat doctor. And then he's the one that was like, I don't know. And then he like randomly briefly said, how long has it been since she had her wisdom teeth out? And we were like, oh, it's been over a year. He said, well, I, I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Sure enough. Yeah. Ugh. It's time for my other two to have their wisdom teeth out, and I'm dreading it. Okay, so we've got our little dude. Now, last but not least, let's stamp Milk It For All It's Worth, which is a perfect sentiment for this project. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle of a stylish shape. What? There we go. Stylish shape stitched banner. Early espresso ink. And now we will put all of this on here. Like, let's see, where did we know? We'll put him down at the bottom. Let's do two dimensionals for his head. Two stacked dimensionals like that. <laughs> Cindy, that's okay. It's recorded, so you can watch it later if you want. Oops. And ta-da! So cute. Thank you, Laura, again. I know she's probably not watching, but thank you, Laura, for this project. I loved it so much, and I was trying to think of a way to, to do it differently so that I wasn't outright copying her, but it was just so perfect. I was like, I have to make this. I have to make it exactly like it is. So anyhow, Another fun, cute as cow project. Now, before you guys leave, let me show you the swaps. And Karen, Karen, you're here, right? This one is yours, I believe. Karen, look how cute this little um, notepad. I almost copied this one for today, Karen. Um, it has um, these little notepads you can get from Amazon, these little cow print notepads. Very inexpensive. I did this for, uh, I ordered those for a team event in the beginning of the catalog. Um, but anyhow, Karen, very cute. She used Glorious Gingham too, the little pen. Very cute. You know, we haven't made a notepad holder in a long time. Maybe we need to make one of those too. Here's one. I don't know who all of these are from. Oh, Cheryl Lee. It's one of those book, um, book folds, I think is what they call it. Cute. And look, she didn't even punch. She did some masking and overlapped them. Very cool. Now this one's from Sandy. I think I've already showed you guys this one and it's so cute. Look at all those cans that she stacked up inside of the um, wagon. Very, very cute. And look, she even doubled up her wagon. I'm just noticing that now, Sandy. She doubled up that wagon so it would be taller to hold all those cans. So cute. <laughs> and the, his little head kind of holds it closed. Very cute. Here's um, a card we did uh, uh, for a team. Make and takes, I think. The little rooster on the can, isn't he cute? We didn't use him today. And then here is a fun fold that we did. Also, if I can get it to open, I have it stuck down for photographs. See that? That's a lot, that's a lot of uh, work, a lot of coloring, but worth it. Here's another one that we did. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. That's a fun sentiment too. This one, I think this is from you, Lisa, isn't it? Um, this is so stinking cute. Mucha Latte. She made this little, like, uh, coffee cup card. Very cute, Lisa. So stinking cute. I love when I get little fun surprises in the mail. This is from Kathy Miller. I like her coloring, her color combo. Again, the gingham, man, we all had the same idea, didn't we? Granny Apple Green and Berry Burst, they go well together. Very cute. And then one more, here's one that doesn't have the cow stamped. They have it just punched. This is from Michelle. That's cute, very cute. See, you don't even have to stamp it. She just, I guess there's a face stamp in there, isn't there? Isn't there a face stamp? Yeah, look, right here, you could just stamp the face. I didn't even notice that. And the punch has all those other pieces on it, doesn't it? What's this one? Oh, these are the horns right there. And there's the little 
like the little hair and the little tail piece. And then that's the nose. Why did I think of that? It's so obvious and I didn't even think of it. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you for joining me. Remember, if you would like these three projects as a make and take kit for free, your order, anything you want, $35 or more, um, using the um, host code. Um, I lost track. I'm reading Lisa. She says the, the nose is a, is a jelly bean. It is a jelly bean. You're right. The punch shape is a jelly bean. I was trying to connect that. I was like, wait, what? Um, <laughs> I cannot talk and read at the same time. Um, anyway, these are the three Megan takes for this week. If you want them for free, um, $35 or more order by Monday at midnight using that host code and I'll send them to you. All right. That's it for me. You guys next week we'll be back with Again, I can't remember the name. Happiness. What is it? Why? Why do these some of these names just elude me? <sighs> I'm trying to think of it before somebody says it. Somebody's going to say it, and I can't remember. Anyhow, join me next week for a surprise stamp set. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.